All right, folks. So what we have here was my EDC for today. It's what I carry on my body. It's not what I carry in a bag. It's not what I carry in a backpack. I do carry extra stuff in those things. But this is what I have on my body all day, every day. And we're going to walk through it. But before we do that, why don't you go grab yourself a nice cold one, come on back, and we'll get started. Alright, so hopefully everybody made it back. And I've mentioned in past EDC videos, uh, pocket dump videos, that I'm trying to minimize what I carry on my person. I still want to make sure that I have stuff that is of interest to me and is functional and helps me support my day-to-day -day activities. That being said, I do carry a sling bag, sometimes a backpack. Uh, it really depends. Uh, an EDC bag that has other things in it, like battery chargers, cables, cords, and stuff like that. So what I want to do is I want to go through this and I want to talk about it a little bit. And then if you have any comments or questions, you can go ahead and post them at the bottom. One of the things that's missing from this list is my Samsung Galaxy S5 uh, mobile device cell phone. I hate this thing. And I've mentioned that in past videos and uh, I'm looking forward to replacing that as soon as my contract is up. So getting started, this is actually off of my headlamp and I use this headlamp all the time. It's a Phoenix HL50 flashlight. There we go. You can see a little bit in action. And you can run this with a AA battery or you can run it with a 18, I'm sorry, an RCR123. And oh, actually, it's a CR123. This does not recommend using rechargeables in it because they have a higher voltage. But this is a really handy flashlight and it's kind of cool and it reminds me of the old school flashlights that I used to use when I was a kid in, uh, in Scouts where you hold it vertically and not horizontally. The, uh, the next thing that I have over here is Skull Candy earbuds, and I mentioned these before. And I've used Bluetooth earphones and earbuds or whatever you want to call them, but uh, I really prefer the cord. And I know that it's like a tether that kind of gets tangled up and makes a mess everywhere. But I use these not only to listen to things, like when I'm watching YouTube videos or if I'm listening to podcasts and stuff like that, but also to handle phone calls. And I spend a tremendous amount of time on the phone because of my job. Uh, I actually spend more time talking about work than actually working, so I'm kind of lucky that, that uh, it worked out that way. And then here's my Fisher Space Pen. And these things are great. I don't know if you guys have these or not. They have re refillable cartridges. And I was unscrewing it instead of opening it up. But uh, I've had this for a few years. It's very durable. It doesn't get scratched up. And uh, it works great. And then here's some field notes. Uh, notepad. I always keep one of those on me so I can write things down, thoughts or to-do list, or if i got to go to the store and pick something up. And uh, these work great. They're relatively inexpensive. Uh, you could probably buy memo pads a little bit cheaper than the field notes, but they have uh, different ones with like grid paper and stuff like that. And I, and I just like them. They fit in a pocket nice. And uh, they're very handy. And then uh, this is a Zippo lighter. It's a um, kind of like a stonewashed brass. And I did a video on this. And uh, I don't smoke as much as I used to. Cigars. I haven't smoked cigarettes in a long, long time. But uh, it's still kind of cool, and maybe you need to make a fire. I'm in my 40s. I've never had to make an emergency fire, but you never know when that day's coming. And uh, I just like to play with that lighter, so I like it. And then this is my paperweight that I carry around with me, just in case I needed to weigh some paper down. Um, very handy. It's made out of titanium. Uh, I put this lanyard on there. I love it. It's a Punisher skull, and I think it's cool. Maxpedition Encore RFID blocking wallet. I've done a video on that. I expect I'll be getting a new wallet soon because I like to do that. I like to switch them out and, and try different wallets out. But uh, this is what I'm using now, and uh, I have a video on that too if you if you wanted to check it out. And then uh, got some Cold Steel Inferno, and this is kind of like a pepper gel that you can spray in case somebody's acting up. Uh, I really carry it. We went on a couple hikes today at a local park. And I just carry it around uh, for critter control and, uh, I guess, for human capital management in case the uh, need becomes uh, prevalent or necessary. And then this is one of my favorite knives that I have. And it's a little bit beat up, but I use it a lot. And it's a Strider SNG. It's a uh, Tiger Striped, and it is the Tanto, Tanto version of the knife. And uh, S30V uh, blade steel. Just love this thing. It's a, it's a great knife. I took the pocket clip off and I pocket carry it. I don't keep a clip to my to the outside of my pocket. Love this thing. And then uh, I've got a video on this as well. And this is just a Victorinox um, 
I'm drawing a little bit of a blank. I want to say it's a camper knife, and that might not, it, it might be a farmer. And it's a 2015, and this is their blue version. And uh, I really like this thing. I mean, here's a regular blade that it has on there. And uh, the big reason I carry this is, is that oh, that's the blade again. Oh shit! Well, maybe I can't remember the big reason I carry this. It's a little bit bigger than the um, cadet that I used to carry. Here's an all. And uh, it's just a handy EDC knife. It's a little bit bigger. It's got lots of capability. It's sheeple friendly, and I, and I use it all the time. This is replaced. I had three campers, and this is now my number one uh, EDC blade at this time. And the last thing that I have is this is a Southward uh, lockpick kit. And I carry different things depending upon what I'm into or what my interests are at the time. Here's some tension wrenches, here's some picks. And uh, right now I've been spending a lot of time picking locks, uh, just trying to develop that skill set. I don't know if I really want to call it a hobby, but I just think it's a kind of a important skill to know. So I've been carrying this with me because every time I see a lock, I'm like, oh, damn, maybe I should uh, try to pick that real quick. Now, here's kind of like a bonus item. This is a Baofeng. Yeah, it's a UV uh, 5RE+. Plus. And uh, I used to carry uh, ham radios on me all the time, and I still do from time to time. A lot of times I'll put a pocket clip or a clip, belt clip on the back, and I'll keep it attached to my belt. But uh, this is about 50-50 between on my person and uh, in my EDC bag. Communication is very important, and you should have something on you in the event that power goes out or grid goes down or you lose cellular or you don't have cellular service. So these are still important part of my EDC but uh, I'm starting to run out of pockets, and like I said earlier, I'm trying to weigh down my EDC and carry a little bit less. So these generally are riding in the EDC bag and out of my person. But uh, still very important piece of uh, gear, piece of kit, and uh, if you have something like this, I would encourage you to carry it. So anyhow, that's it. Just wanted to do a quick update. Thanks, everybody.